Jaicus here, and welcome to my 3am thoughts. I just want to be sharing thoughts and other things outside of and beyond music. I just wanted to recap, first of all, the year that I've had in 2023. I do an awful lot of self-journaling, a lot of writing, and sometimes voice notes as well. I was just listening back to some of my voice notes today over the course of 2023 and how how downright down I've been through most of the year. It's incredible that before I went into hospital, how bad, how sad, how difficult times were. I was struggling. One of the songs that I wrote last year, obviously I'd recently put out on YouTube, had a few views on it, which was great. But at the time, before I went to hospital, I'd written that song. I'm just going to read to you the note that I'd written on the back of that song. Just to give you a bit of a background, I was working long hours at the time. And I was just tired all the time, drained. I wrote this song on the 18th of the 7th, 2023. I called in sick that day. I started writing this song in the morning, probably about half past seven. It was going well. So probably about quarter past eight, I rang in sick to finish the song. (laughs) Plus my job was just awful. For better or for worse, I've been sacked since then. But anyway, here's the note that I wrote on the back of the song. I wrote a song in the first hour of my day today. I just picked up a guitar and a notepad and wrote it down. It's such a natural process to me. Most of the time, I feel like I'm a fish out of water in life. Actually, every single minute, every single second, I almost live my life like a fish out of water. I'm so uncomfortable and out of my depth in every single scenario. It's so hard I can't even breathe sometimes. I wonder how many other people can just pick up an instrument on any given day and write a song, a full song, with the lyrics, with the guitar. I suppose loads of people can do it, and so many more could do it if they really wanted to. What an utterly pointless skill that I have. I wrote a song for no one to hear. I have so few skills. Everything else is just so hard and so stressful. I just struggle through my life like a fish out of water. So that's the note I wrote on the back of the song that I'd written. The song which I'd written, I never really named. I think I'm going to name it Freedom. But the song was about struggling at work, being overworked and underpaid. It's just interesting, the mindset, you know, obviously I was so down that day when I wrote that song. And and even though after I'd done it, you know, I I should feel quite accomplished. I knew that I was never going to share it or do anything with it. Obviously, since then, I know, obviously, I put it, of course, on YouTube. Going back to 2023, you know, listening to some of my other voice notes, work is something that desperately depresses me. It's something I'd like to talk about in these 3 a.m. thoughts. I've always struggled with work always struggled just the idea of a job depresses me the thing is i like to do an honest day's work i actually do i enjoy an honest day's work it's good you know it feels good to whether it's getting out in the cold and doing something or some sort of manual labor something which offers something to society in a way but the problem is especially over in England, there's very few jobs where you can actually have an honest day's work. Everything's kind of owned by corporates. Everything's greed. Everything's about squeezing every last drop of profit out of the workers, out of the customers, out of every single process. And it's just exhausting. And it's not fun. And how can you say it's an honest day's work when it's all about squeezing profit out of people? It's never an honest day's work anymore. I just don't understand the system that we live in. I don't understand why everything's about profit. I don't understand why we have homeless people. Surely that should be a priority. Surely that should be something which is sorted by now. And there you have the answer. It's something which should be sorted, but it's not profitable. If it's not profitable, it's forgotten about. 
You look at every single industry, every single thing which happens in this, especially in our country, but really right the way across the world, it's all linked to profit. I've never been able to grasp it. I've never been able to get my head around it. And I think it's part of the reason why I've struggled in the, in the workplace. In my mind, I imagine a world which is more equal. I imagine a world where things aren't done for profit. If you think of anything that's man-made, surely it can be unman-made. What if we were to just remove money from everything? What if we did literally just make everything equal for everybody? What if we stop making things which just break? When did we stop living in a society and when did we start living in an economy? Because that's what it comes down to, right? We definitely don't live in a society anymore. What would happen if you just took away all the bullshit jobs? I've worked probably 20 years plus in sales. The biggest waste of time shouldn't even exist. If someone wants something, they'll go and get it. Even if they find something, you've still got to upsell something else to them. A whole career in working for someone has been pointless. And what makes it worse is, like I briefly touched on, it's all to make profit for someone else. Like people always say that benefits, oh, they curse people on benefits. But raising a family is stressful and it's one of the best things that you could do with your time. Surely people on benefits should be protected, you know, looked after. Okay, so you're going to raise a family. Great, that's what this society needs more than anything else. Let's look after these people. Let's make sure they can raise their kids properly. Let's give them a decent education to their children. Let's give them health care. It's about building a society that people are proud of and want to be a part of. Maybe everybody should work 20 to 25 years of their life, but they should be able to contribute something useful, not just a building block in someone else's profit scheme. Remove corporations, remove private health care, remove private education for sure. Anyway, that's my very brief introduction for my 3 a.m. thoughts. I'm going to be doing one of these videos maybe once a month. And I'm just going to be really free roll talking on different things, different topics I wanted to discuss. If you have listened this far, thank you and good night.